Always forcing the opponent's offensive players in poor shooting angles. Skip pass by Smith. Knocked down. Who else? Sexton kicks it back to the goalie, Schmidt. John Sexton, the All-American. And let's see if Notre Dame's able to push and transition. Here is Sexton. Slams on the brakes. And Duke knows that. That when Sexton... Smith against Phillips. Picked up by Sexton on the switch. Terrific matchup. Gutterding looking for Conley. It's too high. Sexton, 27 ground balls in the last four games. Nearly came up with that one, but Van Raphorst able to get it back it up for Duke in the crease. Now Sexton. Sexton's got eight career goals. He'll try. And you know what? I don't That's have a problem a with that. I have no problem with that because Cleveland State, Furman, and North Carolina, their lone loss is a fourth quarter collapse at Duke. Turnover created. Here comes John Sexton, the long pole midi for Notre Dame. But a nice crowd as lacrosse has grown like wildfire here in this state of Indiana. Sexton. John Sexton, the senior from Massachusetts, with a first-time grounder for Walker. Left-handed pass across the front of the cage. Nice check by Krantz. Males checked hard by Schantz. Great grounder on the far side. That has to be John Sexton. To Schantz! Notre Dame, Mike's. of course, so defensive minded and that's been the case again here in this first quarter. Seven. Ash have cleaned it up a little bit since that Mercy game against Detroit Mercy. Sexton able to come away with it. Back come the Irish under five minutes left here in the second quarter. A spin move by Wynn. He's gonna fire away. Goes left of the post. And he's been active. He hasn't scored yet today but certainly made his presence felt. And what a shot by Sexton. Changing planes. From up top to down low, it's 4 nothing Notre Dame. Some considerable separation here before halftime. It's going to put a lot of pressure on that Richmond offense. Going back to Wynn's shot, though, he was pretty upset at himself that he wasn't able to convert. Pretty good opportunity for Wynn. Probably the best one he's had on the afternoon. Between John Travisano for Notre Dame and John Ragno for Army. And the Irish going to come up with the opening draw by Kielty. Your final gets double team. Nice play by Notre Dame. Forces the turnover. And a chance for some transition offense. And who else but John Sexton. Sexton's going to rip one and scores! John Sexton does it himself. 3 nothing Notre Dame. You see the double comes. He gets a handle on it. Able to bring it easily up the field. He is just terrific. One of the best players in the country. Doing it defensive, defensively now to offensively. And Notre Dame with a quick 3 0 lead here in the shot clock. Glessner guarded nicely by Sexton and a turnover. Sexton finds Gleason for his fourth goal today. And Notre Dame has taken a seven goal advantage. We saw it earlier. No one really slid on Sexton there. So he had a chance just to hang out, stand around, and see who might be open. Gleason cutting from behind the net, finding the right angle. Gleason scored three goals in the second quarter alone. He opens up the third with his fourth on the day. Aliqua just mugged on the double team. He loses it. Oh, but. By Duet, knowing his defenders fell down, he had that chance to really get some time in the room and step in. Garifano forces the issue, throws into an area where there were three Irish defenders. Sexton in transition with one another, and the turnover forced by Notre Dame. Sexton with the cause turnover, to make it to championship weekend for the sixth time in eight seasons. A year ago, losing to Maryland. Great force cause turnover by John Sexton, the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Walker tried to get the setup to French, unable to convert. 
And Sexton, the long pole. The ACC Defensive Player of the Year comes away with the loose ground ball. Rutan the feeder. Mishandled Sullivan, the freshman, in the first midfield unit. And the turnover picked up by the long pole, Sexton.